in case you thought of <laughs> slipping that one in right there. No. Actually, what it is is that they all hate homework and they all want it banned. At their age, I don't think they get any. I think they mean for kids. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> They're also very rich, all three of those, aren't they? <laughs> um, yeah, now, exactly. uh, Carl says he'd even pull his son Eric out of school, age 10, and instead get him to start working for him. Uh, so are they being protected parents or simply lazy? Uh, joining us now is Catherine Burble Singh, who uh, is a homework advocate, is there such a thing, <laughs> and a headmistress of the country's strictest school. Well, Do you like that? that? You like being called well. the strictest headmistress in the country? We've got lots of hard-working children. Oh, have you? Well, I bet they've got no choice at your school. Um, a mum of four, Danielle Lloyd, who says she would happily ban homework. <laughs> Come on, Daniel, what's the problem with homework? You agree with the Well, with Simon? obviously, my children are all in primary school, so it's totally different, but... I just think my kids come home with so much homework, they're so young. I think they should just be allowed to be kids. I think in the schools, the teachers should, should do the jobs. And when the kids come home, they should just be allowed to enjoy themselves, be happy kids. I mean, what's the point in coming home with all these exercises? I agree with doing sort of like spellings and maybe a bit of maths and stuff, but projects and okay. big... Like stuff how, on, how, on give history. Give some examples. So how old are your children now? So Mine you're... are eight, seven, five and one. Okay. So the one-year-old doesn't even go to school So yet. let's say the eight-year-old. What kind of homework is the eight-year-old coming they home They come with? home with loads. They'll come home with a, lo a load of maths homework, a loads of history homework and projects and stuff. And yeah. I get, I'm the one that gets left to do these <laughs> models. And so it's like yeah. I've got four, four three They're models. Making, <laughs> she's making a really good point, which is that schools ought to set the right kind of homework. And these silly projects and so on that parents end up doing are a total waste of time. What do we mean by projects? Well, I'm just trying to get my head around it. What, what do we mean by that? Sort of building something? Yeah, building or, a, okay. a ship or yes. whatever. Right. They're yeah. learning about some... some yeah. 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 So, okay, so that's nonsense. Okay. It is absolutely the case that schools need to set homework that is practice of what has been done at school. Right. It shouldn't be the case that the children are having to figure it out and that the parents are then having to participate. Some parents aren't able to. Some parents say, well, I don't, I don't speak French or I can't right. remember my physics and so on. I get that. Yeah. So what should be happening is that the homework set is practice for what you did at school right. and then the child can just get on with it but my kids come home and sometimes they're like mommy i, I don't know i don't know how to do it and because like, they haven't set the right kind of homework but so you'd, if, you'd, you'd agree with that then so it seems like the spelling if they've done spelling think, in school today yeah, to come home and practice like those spellings, spellings is a good and thing. reading like mm. i like to my kids to read to me they like reading to the one-year-old little brother oh, i think that's, that's nice. really that's wonderful. good mm. practice yeah. But things like when they come home and do history and stuff, I, I don't think it's really relevant. Mm. And actually what a lot of people are saying is that actually it ends up being the parents having to do half of it. Yes, yes. And then so sometimes we don't the children want end up copying and you're sort of slightly... And the as parents well, are slightly more afraid I, of the teachers than the kids. I, I yeah. learned so in such a different way to my kids. Like, it, when I went to school, it's just... I don't even know what they're doing half the time. Or you've got to practice, like, a different ways of working things out. It just... Okay, it's hard. Practice is good. You get good at what you do lots of, and you get good at what you practice. And this idea, I want to reject this idea that children un are unhappy when they do work. In fact, what you want to do from a young age is instill good habits, good work habits, where they can work independently, where they're able to form their own opinions and think for themselves. That happens through getting really good at the basics. Yeah, but how do you, like, so it's busy, right? So you get home, it's four yes. o'clock, you don't really know I what's understand. for tea. Yeah. You're, just, uh -huh. you're knackered yourself. I know, I know. Talking for, I'm asking for a friend. This, yeah. I know. <laughs> uh, this is exactly <laughs> my house at life. I get it, I get My it. My kids, right. There's no, a rip off. Get, in the, yeah, get exactly. in the football kits. They want to go outside. All they want to eat. Football. Yes. It's true. And they yeah. want to yeah. watch telly. How do you get them to sit at the table so, so without make, making it into a massive argument and it actually just ruins right. okay, your so evening? So one, one, one nice tip for parents, I'd say, are timers. I always say timers are great. You say, let's look, let's set it at 10 minutes. You sit down for 10 minutes and you do this for 10 minutes. When the timer goes, bing, we can then do some football. And you get them into that habit. And then in a few weeks, you move that to 12 minutes. And then in a few years, you've moved that to 15 and 20 and so on. You instill those good habits, so by the time they get to GCSE and they have to do all that revision, mm. it's second nature to them. But don't they and need to unwind, though, Catherine? Well, when course. they come home, they've been studying all day. Yes. Don't they need to come home and unwind? But from four o'clock, you know, you're looking at five, six hours that they've got. I if you spend I think half an hour that... I should stay in, in school, because when we, we, when we go to work, 
we come home and we're allowed to relax, but and kids should as well. Well, that's you not, say that. That's actually, that's not true. That's actually, not true. If you, got, if you, you know? think about work life, a lot of people, you know, they take, you know, if you're working, Indeed, they're taking the home, their work yeah. home as well. well. I mean, and the, the thing is, is that is when children leave school, they want to be able to have those habits of independent learning so that they can become successful. The more you know, the happier you are in life. Mm. You can go to a King Lear Shakespeare play and understand Ooh, it. That's okay, you can get that's on a okay plane and know how it works. Who are, who are naturally clever, like my eight-year-old is naturally clever and he will just do it. Mm. Whereas my seven-year-old, he's in hysterics. He hates it, he so, can't cope okay. with it and he so really struggles. I, I was just saying to Dan, I want to give her some advice. I want to show how we can do this <laughs> because actually for your seven-year-old, homework is even more important for them because those ones are the ones who need the basics instilled because I tell you, your seven-year-old, when he's 14, will be a total nightmare if he hasn't got these hab habits instilled in him at a young age. Yeah. I promise you. I'm loving your passion we, about this. We have to, is, uh, yeah. we have to, we, stuff. parents just so, need so, so to, to dig deep. So what, they need, I know it's hard, but that's what it is. You dig deep, you persevere, and you keep on happy. going. And, and they will be, I happy. promise you, they'll be happier doing homework. Does, <laughs> what he does in life, as long as he's happy, it doesn't matter. <laughs> but can I just say, is there, is there proof that actually kids in primary school who do more homework are happier and do better in secondary school. Does the homework actually... It's the habits. It's the, the habits, habits of working. The and then right. when ch children love being successful, Every, all of us love being successful at something. And the more you do something, the better you get at it. But and then you people... keep wanting to do it because you're better at it and you keep doing more and more and more. But there's people who go to university now and get all these degrees and they can't get a job. Mm. Okay. Well, well, I mean, that's a, a different conversation, obviously. Mm. One for our government, which is a bit in disarray at the moment. Yes. But soon they will sort it out and get us jobs. <laughs> 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 I love, I'm, I'm loving, well, I'm we've got loads of comments. So I think so. Jamie on Twitter says, "I think a little is good, but please, I am fed up of my children getting projects to do during the holidays." <laughs> yes. well, and I agree with that. Yeah, that's, that, that, that's a very good point. Um, Sharina says, "Get rid." Kids are at school six hours a day, five days a week, and to expect more at home time is too much for working parents. I'd rather my kids were out doing sports and hobbies in their free time. Well, Which what, is I what would a lot say of parents say is when There's you so have... many of them just sat at home in front of their computers and things. Yeah, and a get lot of them out in the computer. garden. Get them out. Playing well, actually, football. they're spending most of their time on smartphones, and what parents need to do is get them off <clears> the smartphones, do lots of hobbies, and do half an hour of homework out of the five hours that you've got in the evening, it's not very much, and it will put them in a really good position when they're coming to those GCSEs and revision Do you that have homework with the parents if any of the kids at your school don't do their homework? Absolutely. Problem? Is it the parents you're angry with? I, well, I'm not, that, that's too much. That's well, too I mean, harsh a word. I'm a bit scared <laughs> of you, so I think I'm giving it. Right. Go yeah. on, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good, I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can see why you're the strictest head of the strictest Brilliant, I'm, I'm, I'm being so scared. I'm right. Right. Okay, what school do you work for? I'll make sure I won't see my kids. Michaela, oh, and I promise you, if you did, your children would be really happy. And the reason they would is that you would be saying to me, gosh, parents say to us, they're children with us, in comparison to children elsewhere, they say, gosh, my, my child really wants to do his homework. He comes home and is really determined and wants to persevere and wants to get through it because he's practising <laughs> the stuff he learned at school. I don't think school. they've got much choice. <laughs> 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 right then, uh, thank it. you so much. So we've got to talk to about that for, uh, for a long time. Uh, thanks very much.